Well friends, how are you? I hope that you are very fine and you are taking care of yourself because we are facing very dangerous situation that is COVID. And I appeal you and request you that you can help to take care of yourself and your family as well. If you will remain at home, surely we are safe because we don't go have don't want to go with the uh, outer contact because it's very very active nowadays and we need to take care of that again. Also, because this is very crucial here in your life because you are in class time. Already we have learned many lessons uh, in online classes. We have learned lessons, we have learned uh, some points as well, and almost we have a great of a grammar syllabus. Today we are going to learn one very uh, great point. The name I will tell later on, but we are going to learn a very, very uh, important point in your point of view. You know that childhood is a very golden era in our lives. It's a very great period in our life because we enjoy it. We don't have that responsibilities of to complete something. One thing we need to do study. And in this particular age, we gain the learning from our elder brothers. Sometimes we gain the learning from our father, or mother, elder brother, or elder sister. But that time we don't like those things. We feel that every time they are just telling me something, I am also very smart and I am also understanding everything. Why they are uh, living in my account? So we don't like that. But actually, they are trying to make more character. And it is very important because you know that when at the, at the very basic brief, if we have not moved properly, the whole building can collapse when you get complicated. It is possible. And that is why elder people in our family wanted to take care of ourselves. They, you know, every time they meet you, don't do like this, don't do like that. It is not good for you, it is not uh, appropriate for you. And then we feel, oh my god, my mother is always taunting me, my mother is always telling me this and that. And we feel very irritated with that. But actually, they know very well. This field, whatever she is uh, teaching you, whatever she is uh, conveying you, it is very important in your future. Because slowly, slowly, you are trying to get your character. And suppose some bad habits remain in your character, what happens? It will go on with you, and this will become your habit, and this will become your personality. And they are very attached to you, and they always think that my God, my son, my daughter should not be. Uh, criticized by other people in society. So there are certain code of conduct in society, how one should behave. So there are you know, orthodox, orthodox family uh, things about that and uh, this happens. So we are going to learn, especially suppose we will uh, think about the girls, there are many rules and regulations for the girls. Uh, I know that it's very very dangerous, it's very very annoying also for you because boys get some uh, liberty to go out but girls not because they have to oh you are a girl you should not do like this you are a boy okay you have to but girls don't need that freedom in society because mother and father has to follow the code of order in the book according to society so today we are going to learn very very important point in your perspective uh, that is Amanda so, poem, poetess is uh, Robin Klein, who is an Australian poetess and she has written more things about children. Okay, she has uh, written many things about the uh, uh, psychology, but it's always about the small kids. And she has depicted uh, their own agony, okay, children's agony in her uh, uh, poetic work. Okay, so today we are going to learn the poem that is Amanda, which is written to depict agony of one small girl as around 114 years old, actually in a teenager, and how uh, she feels that uh, somebody has snatched her uh, freedom and she is lonely in this world. And she wanted to become lonely, she wanted to become normal in, the, uh, in her life. But because she doesn't like uh, that every time somebody is uh, criticizing her, ordering her, commanding her, that she 
where the soul is embedded is me. So there is only me. I am there. Soul is alone. Alone embedded only is there in that particular see me. Or maven. Maven means it's a creature uh, who has upper body like a bubble and uh, the rest of the body is like a fish. It's a uh, water creature. Like that. She is like that. She alone there in that particular very great sea and she is alone there and drifting peacefully, which means floating on the water very peacefully and she is enjoying that. That scene, that is when she heard that uh, her mother is talking very angrily with her, then she doesn't care of that. She imagines in different ways. She is only created in that sea and she is floating on the sea very peacefully, very happy. This is what we have seen in the first time. Then second, did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? I thought I told you to clean your shoes, Amanda. But if you can understand again, mother will say something. And then you tell you, you might have many certain things in your life. That every time mother asks you, did you finish your homework, Amanda? So you are Amanda in the next house. Right? You feel, oh my god, every time you be study. My mother never says that you are doing very great study. Okay? Every time you get a school, you get No. Develop the negativity among the uh, family and among the mind of the small kids. My mother never looks at me. But actually, what is the behind of that uh, questions? That my daughter should not remain that. My daughter should not face dangers, dangerous situations in her future. So, but that particular maturity is not there in that particular age in that case. So they think very inversely. They think opposite way. Did you finish your homework, Amanda? Did you tidy your room, Amanda? I thought I told you to clean your shoes, Amanda. It means you have to shoe, uh, clean your shoes also. Now you have grown up, you have to do, do those things. You must understand the importance of cleanliness. What's that mother wanted to say here? Okay? So, similar kind of question again and again, mother is asking, and again she goes to the imagination. I have often, you see, what exactly the frame of mind of that mind now. She feels, I must be an orphan, I am orphan, I don't know mother and father. Roaming on the street. She doesn't want that mother, because mother and father means I get only scolding and command. So, I am orphan now. What she feels, I am orphan, I don't know mother and father, I don't have any family members. I am roaming on the street very leisurely, very happily. I pattern saunters with my views, pulse their feet. Slowly, slowly, I am doing uh, some different, different pattern on the sand. Their feet. Your mother and father neighbor uh, make you walk their feet because they have certain care about you that. If my or my if my daughter, if my son will walk there every day, maybe uh, she or he will get some injury. Okay, that is why she says or he says all the time, hey, we are your standard, you the shoes. But she wants to enjoy like this. She doesn't want that. She wanted to room bare every day, okay, without shoes or sandals. And she wants to go the silence in the border. Silence so is the golden, the freedom is sweet. And now she is, uh, Amanda is totally uh, wanted to get rid of this uh, order and scolding. So what she says, silence is the golden. She doesn't want the uh, shouting and uh, command of her mother. She won't only silence. Because what she says, silence is the golden metaphor. Okay, silence, silence is intimately compared with the gold. And freedom is sweet. She doesn't have any freedom in her family because Every time she has to listen to others. So what she says that freedom is very sweet. Okay. In the second sentence, again, mother asks some questions whether we have complained or not, and again she uh, says that she criticizes the man that she hasn't cleaned her shoes also. And then again she goes in her, her imagination and she says, uh, I am orphan. Now she is orphan. She imagines that I am orphan. I know I don't have any mother and father. I am very no, alone in this world and roaming the street very happily. Roaming the street, nobody will ask me why you are roaming, why you are 
soft, sad. And what we do, we like to enjoy. We just, you know, keep our children and child away from us and we make some castles or we make some different, different uh, patterns by the uh, female or toes. Right? So the same thing she does because now nobody is there, nobody is there in, uh, in her imagination. What she is saying here, the silent golden man, because now nobody is holding me, nobody is torturing me here. So silent is very, uh, no, very good. It is like a gold. And it is sweet, nobody is telling her to do that, uh, do that, don't, don't do that. Then what she said, it is very, very sweet. In the search data, what Paul says, don't eat that chocolate, Amanda. That might be the regular call in your life, in your house. Don't eat chocolate because it may decay your teeth. Okay, when you were about 34 years old or 8 9 years old, you might have got a regular instruction by your parents don't eat chocolate, it will affect your teeth. But here is a different case. Even when you act in Amanda, act like a skin girl. People, when people stuff, when uh, excess uh, oil is there in your body, then it comes out in the, uh, in the form of pimples. So that is why I suppose we want to avoid pimples on effects, we have to uh, eat less chocolate or eat less oily food. So that care, that, um, that uh, worry is there in the mind of uh, mother of Amanda. So she said, don't eat chocolate Amanda. Remember your acne Amanda. Can <laughs> you please look at me when I am speaking to you, Amanda? And this is what a regular scenario in a house when mother and father scolds us, um, scold us. What we do, we don't see at them. And they feel that uh, we are not paying attention to them. So that is a regular regular question. When I am talking with you, you have to look at me. It means you are listening. Maybe you are looking down on you are just doing something extra. You are not listening, you are not paying attention towards what I am saying here. Right? So that's what Amanda, Amanda's mother says that Will you please look at me when I am speaking to you, Amanda? That's what she says. So now again she is in particular imagination. What she says? I am reconciled. I have not a care. Life in a thought is a tranquil and rare. I will certainly never let down my right there. So, this is a German story, a German story. The adventure of the princess of uh, fair fairy who was captured by one of the beach and she kept in the tower, not tower, and she is not letting her go outside. Okay, she is all alone there. So, what she feels, what Amanda feels that she is a adventure and I have not here, I am not telling you about anyone now. I am alone there, I am enjoying my loneliness there. Like the dog is flying, I am very calm, very silent, and rare, uncommon, nobody takes that such a of life. So I am, who I am, who am I? I am, that means I am not a care. I am not care, I don't have any care. I am not thinking about anyone else of my family. I am alone there. And life is life in a tower is a tranquil, and it is very calm, very quiet. Very amazing and rare. Nobody gets this type of life. I shall certainly never <coughs> let down my pride there. And then in the story, what she does, that particular um, Rapunzel has a very long ears and um, by which and she is living the, the, the which uh, keeps her in a tower. And whenever uh, somebody wanted to come up, then she put her hair down and some uh, then the particular person climb up with the help of her with the help of her hair. So that uh, that much long her hair is well. That is why uh, what she said now here I will not let my hair down so that nobody will come up. We see unknowingly in that she doesn't want her mother to come up. Okay, she wanted to leave her that proper and she will not let her hair down so that Nobody will come up uh, there on the tower and nobody will disturb her, nobody will break her silence. Okay, so nobody wants to see, nobody, it doesn't want anyone there. Okay, so in this poem again she wanted to remain alone um, at her uh, tower uh, because nobody will ask her, don't do that, don't do this. Okay, 
of other long scale. But they didn't have like any. She has taken it ready and not even ready. So what she said is not that selling at work, Amanda. Don't be upset, Amanda. Don't be, don't cry, Amanda. Okay, you are always for Moody. Whenever Moody is uh, changing your location, changing your uh, uh, the way of uh, doing anything, Moody. Amanda, anyone who does think that I lag at you, I am not annoyed at you, I shout at you, that is why you are crying. So I don't want to do that, I am just trying to make you alright, make you a good boy, make you a good girl. That, uh, that is uh, behind all the parents. Parents wanted that the child, their uh, children should be very accurate, nobody will uh, pinpoint them, nobody will uh, blame them in society. Because you know that other parents, uh, they have the responsibility to make you uh, perfect in your behavior, in your personalities. If you will not become so good, then what will happen one day? Some people of the society will um, you know, spread some rumors about you. Okay, those children, oh, they are uh, not good, they are uh, totally spoiled kids. So they don't want that because mother and father wanted to uh, keep the uh, Conduct of society, whatever social conduct is. Society always has a certain mode of conduct, how to uh, behave by any child. Uh, certain uh, some stars are there, for example, in the uh, morning when we wake up, that time uh, we have to touch the feet of our mother and father. In the evening, we have to uh, uh, say, you know, okay, that's all uh, father and mother teachers, the teachers. Why? Because when we grow up, we will get that same habit and we become so punctual, we become so uh, good in our behavior. Okay, so whenever you become bad program in there, mother and father say that don't, don't see that because it's not good for your age. And if you feel really um, bad and say, no, oh, only you see that, I don't know, I don't have that, I need to see that. So then we have certain problem with our mother and father. But frankly saying, uh, it's very important for your uh, personality because that you are like a you know, big bird and uh, your parents are trying to make you know, give the shape to your uh, particular personality. So maybe sometimes they are quite rigid. You don't do that, please don't do that. I say when you ask a wife, then they say uh, because I say because that time they know very well that uh, they are right and actually they are right. You should not take any negative uh, perspective of their uh, behavior. We have to understand that they know very well. They have seen the world and uh, we have to uh, cooperate them. We have to understand them that whatever my mother and father will do for me, it will be good for me, sure. Because they have given you uh, work, they have, given, they have shown you that um, this world, very wonderful world, and they want that their kid, their son and daughter, must live very peacefully and peacefully. So that they do that. Actually, in the poem, what is written want to uh, convey any uh, specific thing about uh, mothers? She want to convey that society, society always criticizes, and that is why mother or father has to play this role. That mother and father has to uh, scold their boys, scold their daughters, or or their good behavior. If not, it will become happy and they have to pay price in their future life. And that is why they do so. Okay, so in this poem, Amanda, we have learned that how the girl was. She is very different than I see It's a very normal girl. And she also felt the same thing uh, in her house. So she is very normal girl. And she doesn't listen uh, many times to her uh, mother. And mother keeps on scolding her. And mother always tells us uh, don't buy uh, in their school. Not good habit. Suppose you will buy it from parents in uh, public, you know what will happen? That you mother, your mother doesn't uh, teach you that you should not buy it from parents. You are born case, you are totally spoiled girl. Don't eat chocolate, it will you know, hamper uh, or it will decay your teeth. That also is there. So we have to understand the, what is the behind thing of the behavior of a father and mother. We should not uh, claim that they are totally rude with us. No, no, really. They go, they are very scary, they cry for you, they smile for you, they worship for you. Okay, so take care of your mother. This point I want to say that uh, you should 
should not be Amanda. You should not think about anything. You should not think this word I am orphan is the very, you know, uh, you know, very big black dot on the character of your mother and father. When you say you are orphan, nobody is very uh, of my understanding. You say when you become so frustrated, don't do that. It's very, very, you know, uh, Painful for your parents. So, I will say that I will advise and appeal you that you should think about the parents. Whatever activity they do with you, you should think positive about it. You should be very optimistic about the parents' decision. You must be very optimistic about their behavior. You must see that why my father and mother is holding me. Because they want a certain welfare or something. So, just keep in your mind that this is the real scenario in the life. They wanted to bring something good for us and that is what they are supporting. Okay? Don't take that meaning that because of mother she wanted to become orphan, she wanted to go one of the sea and she wanted to enjoy her life. No. Don't take that. Take it differently. Okay? So, I think that we have to show better about in this poem what I said in the process. How would we have to be careful? Okay? Thank you.